Alright, the purpose of this video is to show you how to listen to a PDF file in the option read out loud. So instead of reading it, you can be listening to it, to it here. So let's start by clarifying one thing. This is what, uh, what we're going to be calling a clean PDF file, which is an original one, where you can see there's no annotations on anything or anything else. Differently, so this dirty one, which is our textbook, that has this um, bad scanning here, and also has you know all those annotations and underlinings that obviously it is hard for the reader, Adobe reader, to understand. Okay, so the first part we're going to talk about the easy one, which is we have a clean one, and then we'll talk how to make this work around it okay so if you have so here we have the clean one right um, and by clean I mean because there's no annotations on it okay so what we're gonna do is they will go to view and then you see the read out loud and then click on activate read out loud. This uh, is going to start processes it. So it's going to take a little while, a couple of minutes. You have to wait for it to finish. Obviously, the longer the file, the longer it will take. You will know it's finished because you will see a progress bar here. Okay? And once it's completed, the whole green green progress bar will be shown. So once it's that done, we go back to view, read out loud, and as you can see now it gives me the option to deactivate because we already activated. And then you click on read this page only or read all the way to the end of the document. Alright, so you click that and you will start listening to the Adobe Reader will start reading out loud to you the document. You cannot hear it now because I'm using my microphone. Okay. Now let's talk about the hard part. Okay, for that purpose, you will need to have two files open. The first one will be they're both on the FPG, the Dropbox share file, textbook reference. And you'll see this one that is in a Word document, actually it's an RTF document that you can open in Word, and obviously the textbook itself. So, as you open this one, which is the editable one, and again, you will need to this one too, right? So, when you open it, here, we have the first chapter that already clicks. But if you scroll down on it, you will see all the ones that have not been fixed yet. For example, let's look at chapter 2. And you will notice that they have a bunch of characters here that obviously reader cannot understand. So what you will do, you will go into your chapter and I have created another one here for chapter 2 for example. I just copy and paste chapter 2 here. And it started working on it. See, by removing all the all the junk and make it into a readable file. So far, I have done this much here. Let's go down where I'm. And here it is. See, and here you start seeing the the weird characters, right? So like I said, we're going to be needing both files because you're going to be actually, most, some stuff you're going to be writing in. It. So we left off here. Characteristic of neoplastic cells, right? And it says two types of neoplasts persist. Two types of cells. And I'm going to make this a little bit easier at the same time. And this one I just make it a little bit bigger.
So we're here. Two type of node class. This is two types of image. If you actually need to write it again. Some parts can be longer than other. R. And make sure you write it correctly if not. And look at which. Which prefer in the first pattern of the I'm not going to type in this piece So, I need to be done here. So, the idea is you need to go back and forth from the original in edit here, okay? So, we will just go on, right? Now, once you have finished editing, you actually need to go into the Word document. Alright, so once you're finished, you're going to File, and you will save as a WPDF. Click Yes. And Put it here in the custom image. Okay, and or if you don't have that option, you can go you can install this program. Go to qpdf.com, it's a free software. So I don't select the select one. Select the free one. Okay. The free one. And what this does is that it installs as a printer. So you will click on print. And then you once you have installed QPDF, you'll be able to see the QPDF right in here. So you say print. And instead of printing it, it creates a PDF file of the document, which also works for any other options you might be interested in, like any other, I mean, anything that can be printed has a print option. You can use QPDF and it will convert it into a, a PDF files. So now, save, and it's safe. Then you open it in your Adobe Reader. <clears throat> this is this is the part that already you know I have work on it. As you can see, it's clean. And obviously, this is where we left off. Right, the other part that needs to be cleaned that you should have done in your Word in your Word Microsoft Word. And once you finish it and you have it all set up like this. You would just do the same view, read out loud, activate read out loud, and <clears throat> give it a couple of minutes for it to activate it. And once it becomes active, you would just go back to view, read out loud, and read this page. And then it will start reading out loud to you. Okay? So that's it. Thank you. Have any questions? You will find me. Bye bye.